This is the Quonset Development Corporation's Pier 1 rehabilitation of the south and east berths. We are standing in the Port of Davisville in North Kingstown, Rhode Island. The Port of Davisville was originally Naval Air Station Quonset Point. This pier was built during World War II. It was the home of the Seabees and it's a timber pile supported pier. Piles are all essentially original. This particular project is one in a series of projects that we call our Port of Davisville Master Plan. That master plan is about 235 some odd million dollars worth of work throughout the port. The overall objective of this project is to allow the Port of Davisville to berth an additional car carrier on the south berth of the pier. Pier 1 is one of two existing piers at the Port of Davisville, which is Rhode Island's only public port. The Port of Davisville is one of the top 10 auto importers in North America, and the project really consists of selectively demolishing and removing the perimeter of the existing pier structure. The existing pier was built during World War II, and while repairs have been made to the pier throughout its life, it needs to be replaced for the ongoing operations of the port. The improvements that we're making will extend the life of this pier easily into the 2070s. Brennan is the prime contractor on the project. They've been responsible for the demolition of the existing structure, pile driving of the new steel piles, installing the new precast concrete bend caps and toppings and cast in place topping slab for the new structure, which also includes new fender and mooring hardware for vessels. I think the most unique portion of this project is having to fit the new work within the existing partially demolished pier structure. Since we're only demolishing and replacing the outer perimeter of the pier now, we need to have a way to, when we come back and replace the interior part of the pier, mate up to the new construction that we just installed. So a modular design where we could literally demolish the remainder of the pier and install almost like a Lego block type system that fits into the new structure seamlessly. Uh, the tolerances are tight to meet the new structure with the old, so there's a lot of coordination between Brennan and QDC and the design engineer to make sure that once built, the two structures are seamless together. We've built out a really good group of pile drivers in this office. We have a Manitowoc 4100 as our pile driving rig on a 150 by 52 foot ABS flood barge. We have a impact hammer uh, as well as vibratory hammer. And the precast direction crew is utilizing the Liebherr LR 1300 330 ton crane mounted on a 150 by 70 spud barge. With the lift plans, we're lifting weights up to 90,000 pounds. Things could go wrong very fast if we're not well coordinated, well planned. Understanding what's going to happen next, understanding and knowing that the person next to you knows what they're doing and is watching out for your safety as well as theirs goes a long way in building confidence amongst the crew to ensure that we all stay in the same step with the work. Safety is paramount to the Brennan culture. We have a group of people out here that truly respect each other and all the skills and assets we bring to the table each and every day. Brennan is efficient, they're very professional, and they have the equipment, personnel, and expertise required to execute a project like this. We do our best to ensure that we're putting the right people in the right place for the right job.